Hi, I'm Ron White. This is my third wife, Donna. I gotta sell this house. Come on in, take a look at it. You might want it. I don't know where we're gonna start, but I'm gonna start by pouring myself a cocktail. Tequila, it's what everybody should drink. Cheers. I guess we can start with the kitchen and dining area, which we're standing in now, without explanation. Uh, if it wasn't a kitchen, there wouldn't be a stove. And if it wasn't a dining room, there wouldn't be a dining room table. Those are all just facts. Anyway, uh, you guys, uh, I'll, I'll show you the house. Um, it was all done by an interior designer named Kevin Young, who is a masterful guy. Uh, everything you see here was custom made for the home, including the lamp fixtures, uh, all the, the kitchen fixtures, uh, all this stuff is built in. There's also a hidden television uh, right underneath this. It just kind of pops up here. Um, we uh, spend almost no time in this room and rarely eat here. Uh, the kitchen, has, I think, is one of the prettiest things in the house, and I love the combination of wood and marble. Uh, it's got wolf appliances and uh, Sub-Zero. It's really full of refrigerated things. Pretty good, right? If you like light, tasteless beer, I've got it. You'll notice mostly tequila products and crackers. And uh, that's what keeps me going. And I found out this house had four built-in dishwashers about two minutes ago because I didn't realize that it did. Uh, but it does, sure enough. We're gonna walk into the living room, which features these beautiful, uh, ridiculously expensive blackout curtains. Now, if you just hit some of these buttons over here, it all starts to open up to the city of Los Angeles. I rarely invite the city of Los Angeles over. Also, this uh, room features a projector television system. Uh, the projector comes out of a hole in the ceiling and it has two different screen options. One of them drops out of the ceiling and then one of them is a screen door. Now, why would you do that, you might ask yourself. If you do the screen this way, it's a movie screen. If you do it this way, it keeps the bugs that we don't have in Southern California anyway, out of the house. All the doors of the living room open completely, uh, making this one of the best party houses up here. If you'll come outside, we do have a fountain and you might think to yourself, uh, well, is that a Buddha? And uh, I'm like, it's whatever religious icon you'd like for it to be. We also have an attachment old beard that makes it kind of a chubby Jesus. You can leave that in or take it out. I don't really care. Uh, this is uh, also uh, a fire uh, pit. And, uh, and all the tile work is just extraordinary. Um, and, a, and a really comfortable place. Late at night, if I can't sleep, I come out here and lay down on that, look at the stars and sleep like a baby. This thing puts out more fire than you can imagine. I'll show you where I do eat, and also one of the coolest things about this, uh, this home is just how hard it parties, whether you're here or not. Uh, this door opens as easy as pie, which uh, opens us up to this uh, beautiful little plastic dining room table, which is where I eat almost every single meal I eat here. Uh, it's got the best view in town. And uh, with the smoke and fires and whatever smog we could muster, we've kind of come to the uh, illusion of it being close to downtown, down just a little bit. My favorite place in the house uh, are these decks. And there's about 2,000 square feet of them that are all just usable, wonderful spaces. And uh, this is where I drink most of the tequila that I drink. I drink number one tequila, by the way, and also own that company. Da -da -da. Plug it when you can. Now we've made kind of a loop, but we missed a couple things. So let's grab a quick look. I'll, I'll step out of your way and let you get a shot of this. It's a beautiful bathroom. Uh, it's the only restroom on the top floor and the one that I use the most when I'm freshly getting out of the car. 
all the toilets are Toto toilets and the toilet opens as you walk towards the toilet like you couldn't possibly lift it up yourself. So that's good. I'll show you the one downstairs. The house is uh, three stories and uh, the first story is I could afford it. The second story is now I have to sell it. It, uh, you'd think three floors, that's a lot of work on the old knees and uh, how are you standing up to all this? Well, you push that button, open it up, and Donna just goes right in and that's an elevator that services the three floors. It's all got, also got stairs if your knees work. Uh, come on out, mustard come. Good boy. He's an on cue actor. And this is also a picture of Donna in her wedding dress. If you want to get a little shot of that. I said it, looked, it would look better if you looked like you were ironclad at our wedding. And uh, so that's what she put on. Down the stairs, all of these railings were custom made by the same people that did all the lighting. And they feature some things I said no to, which were these crystals. Uh, when the designer said, here's some ideas, I said no to almost every single one of them and he just did it anyway because he knew best and he was right, 100%. Um, there are little lights on the, on the side of the floor and they light up as you go down. And this is also a light that stays on most of the time. It kind of illuminates the staircase. Now that brings us to floor number B, two. Now this is the, um, it was kind of uh, built as a double master uh, with a connecting closet. Um, so this would have been my room and still is. This is where I stay. This is one of the bathrooms. And as I told you before, when you walk towards the toilet, it opens. Now, does that make any sense at all? No. Can you stop it? I don't think so. Uh, and now if you got the other part open, you just push this right here. Do whatever needs to be done. Uh, it's a gorgeous uh, bathroom that uh, Kevin Young came up with. Uh, and again, I said no to every single thing you like about this house. And outside of this bedroom, there is another uh, porch and a house that was one time owned by Jessica Alba. That was the perk and one of the reasons I did buy it. You know, it just sounds good to say Jessica Alba lives over there. We'll go back inside at this door. This is my office where almost nothing happens. Uh, I do smoke cigars and uh, all of these drawers in this cabinet are humidors that keep cigars safe. That is also a humidor. That's also a humidor. This is a set list of stuff that I'm currently working on, but it's not really anything you'd be interested in at this point. Let's go back outside and go this way, come on. This, of course, is the outdoor patio to the master bedroom. I don't know why I said, of course, because how would you know that? Come on in. Now, this is the bigger of the uh, two bedrooms and uh, would be called the, I forget what they're calling them these days, but it's also push button blackout curtains, Venetian plaster on the ceiling. You guys are welcome to go into the bathroom, but I'm gonna tell you now, I counted the soap so I don't steal anything. Now, when I said there was a connected closet between these two bedrooms, this is it. I have never seen a closet like this before. It has spinning things and uh, that's where I keep all my stage clothes and uh, whatever clothes I have. I keep them all here in the closet. Uh, it's got, uh, it's got some tricky doors that open that you can't tell and I'm not going to show you how to do that unless you, uh, buy the house and then I'll show you how to do it. But, you know, now this door was actually, uh, come, it came from a monastery in Tibet. I don't know if that's true or not. It can't be true. I just made it up and what are the odds I guessed it? Come on in. This is just a small gym and, and, uh, where I do, uh, a thing I call yoga napping. It's not exactly exercising and you don't exactly get any benefits from it. Down another flight of stairs. Come on, let's go. So again, you can see that it's got the little lights that follow you on the way down to make sure you're not walking on a dark staircase. And the, uh, the rare stones 
get even weirder. And I said no even louder when they started illuminating them. I'm like, no, no way. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, this is, I don't know, kind of a man cave type of thing. It's where I store, a, <laughs> well, that's embarrassing, an awful lot of uh, number one tequila and some towels. That's good, huh? i uh, got a TV with a sound bar. There's also a dishwasher here. There's a microwave here. A uh, lot of drawers and storage. Uh, there is another refrigerator because, you know, you need a lot of them. Would you come with me this way? Is another small bedroom. It was made to cut hair in, which is what we do with it. So uh, it's got a barber sink, uh, and that's kind of what it's for. All right. And now for the part of the house that makes no sense at all. <laughs> this wall, whoa, <laughs> which is a safe room with another toilet, but you have to lift that one yourself. And uh, then there's a little glass partition there uh, with a 12 gauge uh, Mossberg shotgun that you want no part of. And I'm not gonna use it on you either, probably. Uh, and this is, this room can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, right now it's a recording studio. Uh, and the sound room in here could be a closet or it's a pitch perfect sound room signed off on by none other than Brian Johnson from ACDC. Then there are also sound boards down here in three other places. So if you were recording music in here, you could put a band out there, you could put a drummer in here, you could put a bass player in that bathroom, and uh, that's what it was designed for. But it also would make an amazing home office once you took that board out of it and figured out a way to fill in that space where I cut that marble out. All right, little problem, little problem. This is uh, a painting of my other two French Bulldogs that passed away. And it was done by an artist uh, who was my best friend named Joey Walden. And uh, I love him and miss him. And when my mother first saw this, she said, their noses aren't blue. And I was like, we know moms. Uh, and even though he was dying and he didn't know it, when he painted it, on the back of it, he drew this. We're already dead. Keep that in mind. All right. Now let's go outside. So this is uh, one of the levels of the house that we, uh, we use the most. Uh, it's about four steps down from the last part of the house that you saw. And uh, I play a lot of golf and the best part of my game is about an 18 uh, or 20 foot lob shot. And the reason is because of this. Uh, it's a putting green. Uh, now we planted uh, fruit trees at the end of it to kind of soften the blow of a thin shot. Uh, but, and it works pretty good. We haven't broken one yet. Um, there's a little swimming pool here that's heated and uh, it's easy to cover, one push of a button. And um, which brings us to another little living area. Okay, uh, this, uh, this little living room is where we spend a lot of time in, in the evening uh, watching movies on, uh, uh, on this television that pops up out of it little statue over by the pool. It comes with the house because I don't want to move it to Austin. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here's where I start, set up, hit the little lob shot over the water hazard onto the green. I guarantee you, your short game will never be better. We'll, we'll take a shot, just so you can tell I'm not talking smack. What, what did I tell you? <laughs> Pretty sharp. One take. <laughs> I think that about wraps up the tour. And uh, let's go upstairs and sit on the deck and uh, have a cocktail. We'll run it through its paces. What do you think?
Hey, uh, thanks for taking a look at my home. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank my fans who bought this house and let me uh, have the pleasure and privilege of living in it for quite a few years. And uh, it's a shame to let it go, but in these uh, times of the coronavirus, we're all looking at new realities, right? And, uh, and so at one point it looks smart for me to act like I might never make another dime and uh, it's time to scale it on back a little bit. I hope whoever buys this home enjoys it as much as I have. Uh, it's been a pleasure and thank you to my fans for buying it for me and uh, taking care of me all these years. I appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs>